friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. Today is a really fun project. I just finished this last night. This is my star virus blanket. This is my twist on a five sided a pentagon. I call it a star. This is a gift that I just finished last night and it's going away on Saturday. I still have a lot of ends to weave in, but I wanted to show you how I did this. So you see there's one corner, two, three, four, and my last one, five corners. So it's a star. It is so pretty. I just love it. And this is a mandala. Uh, I believe this one is, oh, what was it, Griffin? Chimera. I'm going to use Chimera today, and I'm going to show you how I did this. It is really, really simple. There's no extra crazy stitches. There's no anything that is not something that's already kind of in a uh, original virus. And since I have so much left over from making this guy, because I forced these color rounds, then I'm just going to start with some of these colors. I think I'll start with pink, which is not going to be a surprise to anyone that I'm going to start with pink. So we're going to start in the center, and I'm using a five millimeter hook with my mandala, which is a three weight yarn, but it does want a five five millimeter hook, and that is what I'm using. I'm using my Addy again because I love this one so much, but we're going to start in the center. All right, here we go. We're going to start right here. Always start in the middle with a virus. We make a magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a really quick tutorial. I think it's only like two or three minutes long on how to do it the easy way, and I'm already done. So what we want to do, chain three, and in our magic circle, we want to do a total of ten double crochets that first chain three counts, so technically I just did two. There's a chain three and a double crochet. We need a total of ten. So there's number three, and there's ten. Now we can pull our magic ring slash magic circle closed, and we'll just slip stitch this little circle closed with a slip stitch into the third chain of our chain three. Here we go. That's super easy, super fast. Something everyone has probably already done before. All right, our next round, we want to increase, which is two double crochets in every stitch. So there's a chain three, and in that same stitch, right there, we want to do another double crochet. So there's two. all the way around. Nineteen and twenty. So there's our increase round. And again, slip stitch into the third chain to close our circle. For our next round, chain three, and we're going to increase one more time. In the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. The next stitch gets one double crochet and two double crochet, and that is our sequence all the way around. One double crochet and then two double crochets in the same stitch all the way around. Twenty-nine and So there's our 30 stitches we just increased again, and slip stitch into your third chain. Do one more increase round, which is chain three. In the next stitch, it's a double crochet, and the next stitch, stitch gets two double crochet. So there's a double crochet double crochet, and two double crochet for an increase, and that's our sequence all the way around. I'll meet you back over here. Thirty-nine and forty. Our 
go. We increased again. So now we just increased up to 40. One, two, three, four rounds. Slip stitch into your third chain again. And we're going to do an increase one more time. Increase up to 50. One, two, three. So that will be double crochet, chain three, a double crochet, another double crochet, and then two double crochets in the same stitch. Three stitches get a one double crochet each, and then the fourth stitch gets two. One, three, and now this stitch will get two. And that's our sequence all the way around. And 49 and 50. Those two are both in the same stitch. And slip stitch into your third chain of your chain three from the beginning to close our circle. So there's our circle, there's right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna make one more round with pink. This one we're gonna chain three plus one more, so it's a chain four. And in the next stitch, we're going to double crochet and chain one. Double crochet in the next stitch, chain one. Double crochet, chain one, all the way around. That's our sequence all the way around. And here's my last stitch on this round. It's a double crochet, a chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of our four chains. Remember we did four at the beginning because one of them is the chain in between. So we'll go into the third chain and do a slip stitch. If you're going to keep going with whatever yarn you're using, this is how you keep going. Just do a slip stitch and keep right on going with the next part I'm going to tell you. If you wish to change colors, we're going to pull this out, this little slip stitch. So we'll go back into our chain with our new color. I have a lot of this mandala left, so there is my slip stitch. Let's pull those nice and tight. We can take this yarn out of the way if you want to. Not If you don't want to have all of this hanging around, leave yourself a nice long tail so it doesn't come undone. And now the pink can go away. So now we're going to set up the first round of our four round repeat. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna skip this first chain space and in the next one, do a single crochet. chain three, skip a chain space, and the next one is single crochet. Chain three again, skip one chain space, and the next one is a single crochet. And chain three for the third time, skip one chain space, and single crochet into the next. So what we just did was, here's half of the first corner. We're going to finish this corner later. I think that's where people get confused with the virus blanket. The very first corner, this is point one of my five pointed star, or my pentagon. That's only half of one. We'll finish it in a little while. And then in between, there's three sets of three single crochet. Now we're gonna make another corner. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Skip one chain space single crochet into the next, chain five, again, skip one chain space and single crochet into the next. So that was a full corner. Each corner will have two, just like a virus blanket, but this is my star virus blanket. So we're just adding in one more corner. I adjusted the stitch counts so we can get a star or a pentagon, or a five side, or whatever you want to call it. 
but I adjusted this initial stitch count so we have enough stitches to go all the way around. So if you're familiar with the virus blanket, go for it. You've got everything that you need to know, except you're going to have five points instead of four. So we just did this one, one, two, three, one, two. So now it's again, one, two, three, three chains, a skip, and a single crochet. Three chains again, skip, and a single crochet. Three chains for the third time, a skip, and a single crochet. There's always three sets of three chains in between five chains. That's going to happen every time. So now we're back to fives. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first chain space and the next one is a single crochet. Chain five again. Making another corner. Skip one chain space. So we just made another corner. Another point. There's half of the first one. There's one, there's the third one. That is our sequence all the way around. So if you are familiar with the virus blanket, you can go for it. If you are not familiar with the virus blanket, I have a nine part tutorial that goes through every stitch. In order to do a virus blanket, you need the four round repeat starting here. So we'll chain three, skip one, single crochet, chain three again, skip one, single crochet, chain three for the third time, skip one, single crochet. Make another corner, so there's a chain five, skip one, single crochet, do that again, one, two, three, four, five, because each corner has two larger loops. Skip one, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip one. So there's a half of a corner. It's one corner, one corner, one corner. There's our three. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Here we'll finish our very first corner. So we'll do the second half of that, which is a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, single crochet right in here. Let's just pull these tight into this very first one that we made, the very first five chain loop. We're just gonna slip stitch, bring those all together. Pull everything, make sure everything's nice and tight. So there you can see, we've got our base base round right here. Corner number one, corner number two, corner three, corner four, and corner five. So this is going to just keep going out like a star. The same thing as a virus blanket, but I adjusted the stitch count so you can have five points instead of four. So if you don't want it to be square, it'll be fun. It'll be a little different. But again, this is the, that was the first round of our four round repeat. Now we're going to do chain three and into this first stitch, we want to do an additional nine double crochets. This chain three will count as a double crochet, so nine more in here, so a total of 10. So that was technically two, because there's my chain three. Yeah. There's two, three, four, nine, and 10. 10 double crochets in this first chain five space. The first one was a chain three and nine additional double crochets. Now in our little chain three spaces in here, each one will get a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the second one, chain three, and single crochet in the third one. So we just changed these from being three loops like this right here in between our corners. One, two, three over here. We had one, two, three, but now we just changed it into two. Single crochet in each one with a chain three in between. Now we're at a corner. 
you can tell because these are big. Each one of these gets 10 double crochet, just like a normal virus blanket. Eight and nine, 10, 10 in the first chain five space. There's our second one. We're going to go right into it with 10 double crochets. So there was one, two, and 10. So there's 20 total between these two. Now we're back at our little stretch of three sets of three chains. So we go single crochet, jump right to it, jump right over there chain three, jump to the next one with a single crochet, chain three, and jump to the last one with a single crochet. And we're back at another corner. There's always three in between. So let's go to another corner. Ten double crochets in each chain five space. Nine and ten. There's another chain five space right here. So we're gonna do 10 more in that chain space. And that's our sequence all the way around. And 10. So there's another point. We got a half of one. We always start out with a half of one. And there's a point, there's a point. And remember in between, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, another corner, another corner, all the way around. Really, really easy. We're going to jump right in here with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, another corner, single crochet, and now we're back to a corner. We are to our next corner. So that's how it goes, all the way until you get to the back to the very beginning, and I'll show you how we finish off this corner right here. All right, here I am back to my first half of the first corner. One, two, three, four, and then this one we need to complete. So in this five chain space, jump right in with ten double crochets. One, two, and ten. Slip stitch into the third chain of your very first chain three. So that was round two of the four round repeat. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going with this blue. So our third round of our three round repeat is chain three. And I think this is another place that people get tricked up get tripped up a little bit on a virus blanket. This chain three counts as a double crochet. We need a total of 10, so we need nine more. So go back to your very first one, or the very last, I guess. The double crochet here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where we need to put our double crochet, is right here. And you won't get one too many or one too few stitches. That's an easy count. So a double crochet right there and a double crochet in all of the others. You should have 10 total, including that chain three. Once you get on a roll with this, you won't even need to stop and count, but it's a good way to make sure that your very first round doesn't have an extra stitch or you haven't missed one. Then you have to frog everything out. That's no fun. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's my chain three. There's ten. And I used all of the double crochets from the previous round. So that's perfect. Now we have this little area in between our next corner. So we jump straight over to the chain three space, which is single crochet, chain three and jump to the next chain space with a single crochet. So now we've built what looks from row to row, round to round. One, two, three here, there's two here, and there's one here, just like a little pyramid. Keep pulling our, our corners in a little bit closer. 
Now around a corner like this, every one of these is going to get a double crochet. So make sure you start in your first double crochet and not down here in this weird chain space. They do look different, but it gets easy to get confused. So we end up with 20 double crochets around this corner. And number 20. There you go, there's half of one here. This is our point right here. And in these chain spaces in between, just jump right in with a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. And then fill in 20 double crochets all the way around. That is our sequence all the way around until we get back over to our starting that is only a half of a corner. So just keep right on going. Right, and here's our last half. I've done one, two, three, four complete corners, and this last one is a half a corner. So we always start in the middle of the corner on a virus. So we're going to do ten double crochets up the other side, because this side's already done. That's where we started. Now to bring these together, you want to slip stitch into the third chain of your chain three. That was our third round of our four round repeat. So we did here, the base is under here, then this round is right here, this round is what we just did. Now we're going to do one more. One more round. So we did the base, the first set of fans, and the second one. And now we're going to do row number four of our four round repeat right here. I'm going to continue on with blue. This one is just a little bit different, but not much. Chain four. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three plus one more. We want one chain in between each double crochet that we're going to be making. So just like we did before, we go back to way over here to the first or the last double crochet, whichever you want to do it. And I'm going to count back nine to make sure that I start in the right spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is where I need to start with my next double crochet is right here because you want a total of 10 with a chain in between each one. And so here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I did my chain 1, my last one right here, double crochet. There's no chain after that because like I said, chains are in between these stitches, not at the end. So now, to get to the next corner, we are just going to jump completely over all of this little pyramid that we've been making. Jump over that one completely and find your first double crochet, which is right here, double crochet into it. Chain one and do that all the way around. So you'll end up with 20 sequences. There's a double crochet and a chain, double crochet, a chain, double crochet, chain one, all the way around this corner. And my last two stitches on this corner, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. But at the very end, there is no chain because it's not in between. So there's our corner. Double crochet and a chain all the way around. And then we jump across all of this area right here that we made our little pyramid just like we did before. Double crochet into the first double crochet in that fan, chain one, and do that again all the way around. That is our sequence all the way back to the beginning. Nine and ten. Now we still want to do our chain one we have to get in between this and this. Both of these stitches still need their chain one in between and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of our four. One, two, three. So he still has 
his chain space too. So that is the fourth round of our four round repeat. First one sets the stage here with the big loops and then there's this fan, this fan, and this fan. Now you're just going to start repeating those same four rows over and over and over again. I'm going to show you how to do the very first one. If you wish to change colors, we're going to do that right now too. I'm going to pull that slip stitch back out, but we don't want to lose any of our chains. Go back in to that stitch, and now we're going to change colors. I have a lot of remnants from this project because I forced these color changes along the way. So finish this slip stitch with your new color. Tighten all this up. And we're going to start out with the chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first chain space, single crochet. So there's the first half of our next round. So one, two, three, chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three for the second time, skip, single crochet, chain three for the third time, skip, and single crochet. So here we're going to jump across this little area where we had our little pyramid chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We want to look exactly the way it does on the other side. So we're working into this one. We want to work in here. Skip one, one, two, three. Skip those three. Single crochet. And now it's our sequence of three. Three chains. Skip single crochet chain three a second time, skip, single crochet. Chain three a third time, and single crochet. Well, after we've done those three, we must be at a corner. And we are, because it's time for fives. The foundation of our, for round one of our four round repeat, there's always three in between. When you've done these three chain threes, it's time for fives. One, two, three, four, five. And you just have to decide if you're in a corner. Skip, single crochet. If you're in a corner, you need to do two sets of chain five. Skip and single crochet. And then repeat our three sets of three chains. One, two, three, skip and single crochet, one, two, three, skip and single crochet, one, two, three for the third time, skip and single crochet. Now we're not at a corner, as you can tell, because there would be two. This is just an increase area. So what we were going to do is chain five, two, three, four, five and jump across. Remember skip one, two, and three chain spaces and single crochet into that one. And then we repeat our three sets of three chain sequence. Skip and single crochet. One, two, three, whoopsie, three, skip, single crochet. One, two, three, skip, and single crochet. Now we are at a corner, so it's two sets of chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. Chain three. Skip, single crochet, chain three for the third time, skip, single crochet. Now we're at one of the valleys. So it is, this is five chains, four, five, and then we jump across. Remember skipping one, two, three chain spaces with a single crochet. That is all you need all the way around. 
Here's my last set of three. One, two, three. Skip and a single crochet. And now we're going to finish this last corner. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, single crochet. And now to close up this little corner in our first chain five space, we're going to slip stitch. And then we can start again from there. But I bet you have it by now. So what we did here was one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then there's this base round, this set of fans, this set of fans, and this set of fans. That's our four round repeat. Starting from here, this is row one. So round one makes the loops. Round two fills them in with double crochets. Round three makes it a little taller. And round four. So that's our four round repeat. That is about all you need to know. At this point, you would just start right here. We're going to chain three in this first loop right here. Nine more double crochets for a total of ten. In each of these chain three spaces, we're going to put in a single crochet, the chain three in between. So there was one, there's my single crochet, chain three in between, and a single crochet in the last one. Now the only thing different is since we increased, instead of just having corners like we did here where everything was a corner, this little one in between is our increase. He gets ten double crochets. Just like any other five chain space, just happens to be an increase instead of a corner. So there's only one. Nine and ten. So there you go. That's about all you need to know. If you're not familiar with like the traditional virus blanket, I have a great tutorial on making a whole blanket and I also have one that goes round by round. So I give you every stitch in case you missed anything along the way. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and cop back very, very soon. I've got some really fun stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.